Is speed shadow even worth it as of right now? In today's video, I'm going to do a full speed shadow review for generating text to speech. Let's get right into it. Now, I do want you to know I'm not going to leave any affiliate links. This is my real honest opinion. So this is speed shadow. As you can see, I have generated over 565 voiceovers in its lifetime. So I currently have the normal plan as well as the Speechello Pro plan, which were one-time payments back in the day. Now, is this voiceover any good? Before I answer that question, I do want to show you the results that I've gotten by using Speechello. As you can see, all these voiceovers were used for videos up on this channel. It's called Best Products For You, which is an Amazon affiliate channel. Now, you might think these videos don't get any views. Well, partly you're right, partly you're wrong, because back end of the channel, you can see some videos are in the ranking and they get like 30,000, 20,000, 17,000 views. All combined, they got pretty decent traffic, which resulted in last year alone in over $4,000 in Amazon affiliate commissions. Now I stopped working on this in May or April that year. So all the money after those months is kind of passive income. You can see it went down, but still I generated quite a lot of money just that year alone with speech Hello. So does that mean that speech Hello is good and worth it? It still depends. Let me show you. So as of right now, there's no feature where you can simply import a script. It's not too annoying. However, it's a little thing that for example, Murph AI, they made it really easy. You just click there, you load in the script and you're done. So you have to either type it out or of course paste it from a document. And then once you're done, you can select your voice. Now what you'll notice is that comparing this to for example, Murph AI, which we have right here, I currently have a paid plan here as well. I'll leave a link for a full platform guide for this in the description down below. Or for example, Well Set Labs, all the other tools that are popular right now, I must say they're better, but we also have to compare the pricing. The reason I say they're better is because they've got way more voices and they're actually upgrading all the time. I have had Speechello for over two years, but they never update anything. To me, Speechello seems more like a cash grab, not being said that it doesn't work. For example, the voices here are English US. You can choose standard or AI voice, and then you can choose the tone as well. Now what I'll do right now, I'll play a few of the pro voices and then I'll compare them to the ones on Murph AI. So this is Andrew, the voice that I used, which I found to be the best one for the videos I made, which is a pro voice. So this is a paid plan voice. Hi, my name is Andrew. I am a native English speaker. So to me, that still sounds really robotic, which is not great at all. If we then compare that to Murph AI, for example, for example, Rachel, if we select her and we generate the audio, you can see that this is going to sound much more human-like, whereas Speechello is still very robotic. I'll play it for you right now. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial, and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades? There you go. That is, for example, what one voice sounds like on Murph AI. Now, if we then compare that once again to Speechello, the voices on here are not good at all. I'll play one that's free. Hi. I'm Billy. I am a native English speaker. There you go. It doesn't sound great. It's way too robotic. In Speechello, there is no voice where you'd be like, hmm, is that a human? Yes or no? You kind of know for a fact that it's going to be a robot. Whereas on Murph AI or even Well Sat Labs, you're not sure and you actually think it might be a human being doing the voiceover. Whereas here, it's not the case. Apart from that, if you just want text to speech and you don't care too much, about the quality of the voiceover, speech Hello can be great for you as it's only a one-time payment that is about $47, I believe, which you can find somewhere on the sales page. Yes, it's only $47. So in that way, it makes sense that the quality is less. I just feel like the owners behind speech Hello use it more as a cash machine. They don't really upgrade it. They don't really do anything with it. It's just a software they built. It works and that's it. They're now making money. Um, apart from that, what I like is the usability very easy to use you simply type in the script or you paste it you adjust the speech you add pauses all of that stuff you click the voiceover that you like you click generate voiceover and then you're done you can download it but still if we compare that so a feature i like to murph it works exactly the same of course you can play you can play block by block so what you can do in murph is you can switch between voices for example, the first three voices you want Rachel, but then after that you need someone else. For example, if you're doing storytelling with multiple people, you click select without the apply voice to the entire project. And there you go. This voice is now Rachel, whereas the other ones are Terrell. That is a feature that is not possible on Speechello as far as I'm aware. 
So a lot of features are missing and a lot of features that the current newer platforms are upgrading and using are not on Speechello and I don't think it's gonna be there. So with that being said, I think if you do want a text-to-speech voiceover that works and that you don't care about the quality too much and that's it, then Speechello can be great for you. If you wanna make quality videos, so actual videos or any content where the viewer is like, hmm, I'm not sure if that's a voiceover, it sounds great. Then Speechello is not gonna be for you. Then I recommend Merv.ai or even Wellset Labs. Once again, I'll leave platform guides, reviews, as well as comparisons, as well as free trials in the description down below so you can check that out. Hopefully that is of value for you. But apart from that, is Speechello worth it? It's not specifically bad, it's only $47, a one-time payment. But then the problem is that the free voices, or I would, I would say the normal voices with the normal plan, are so bad. So in terms of that, is it worth it? No. I paid about $250 one time for Speechello Pro. That way, it was kind of worth it. It still wasn't great, but it was kind of worth it. But $47 for this voice? Hi, I'm Owen. I am a native English speaker. I wouldn't do that. I'll demonstrate what it sounds like right now. I'll quickly get a script for you guys. There we go, I just pasted in a script. Now if I go with Billy Joey, for example, and we're gonna preview a voiceover, you can see what it sounds like. Welcome to this exciting video about drones, where we explore the amazing world of, this is a preview. As you can see, sounds not too great. I'll do Andrew for you, which is a pro plan voice. Welcome to this exciting video about drones, where we explore the amazing world of, Sounds a bit better, a bit more excited, but still, you can just tell that it's a AI-based voiceover. And that's the problem with all of these voices here. I'll play Ellie, for example. Welcome to this exciting video about drones, where we explore the... It all seems really dead, really robotic, whereas with Murph, you can add emphasis, you can do a ton of stuff that makes it sound much better. For example, Terrell, this is what he sounds like. It only takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. You can see very unique, or for example, Ava, who's not even in the pro plan. So whereas on Murph, you get good voices that are not even in the pro plan or the pro voices on Speechello, the pro voices aren't even beating the free ones on Murph. So this is a not pro plan voice on Murph. It's called the Feats Flat, and it's the largest bike parking facility in the world. You can see it's already much better than Speechello. So I think you get my point by now. Speechello is definitely not my favorite. It's not great at all, especially for what the other ones can do right now. For $47, you cannot really complain though as a one-time payment as the other ones are more expensive, but you get more quality as well. I'll leave full platform guide tutorial videos about the other softwares, Merv.ai, as well as Wellset Labs in the description down below so that you can check out if these are much better for you. My prediction is 100% yes, as Speechello is simply not worth it anymore as of right now. Back in the day, maybe as of right now, no way. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, and then I'll see you next time.